And that sound opens up our <laughs> final part of our episode here. You can turn it off now. <laughs> now, here we go. This is Totem Ball. I'm sure, you know, if you've been, if you have a 360 and a vision camera, I hope you've played this, or maybe I hope you haven't played it. You, you, it'll affect you in one of two ways. You'll either get very frustrated and very angry, or you will be uh, laughing your ass off while playing. So, what I am going to bring to you today is James Britt playing Totem Ball. This is really funny to watch. So for those of you who don't know what Totem Ball is, I'll give you a little rundown of what it is. Totem Ball is a game where you, as you can see here, oh, are attempting to balance these little sliders here in the waterfalls in order to control your uh, little, Paturtle. yeah, your little paturtle, as they call it. We'll uh, we'll read you that little uh, brief Fair story there. Mark. Yeah. So I'm getting in the way here, which is one of the big problems with this game. You kind of have to like have space for it, which I mean it's not different from any other uh, kind of motion control game where it's like that. But at the same time, this is not a good game. See, there's no reason really to make any exceptions for this game. It's really bad. But all right. So if you see anything that looks stupid, like he's running into anything, that's because the controls are absolutely awful. You're basically trying to move forward and stuff, but it doesn't really work. You have to collect these totem pieces to open gates, and then you collect more totem pieces to open more gates. So the gameplay wouldn't be fun even if there were no motion controls, if you can even call these motion controls. But it's just really bad. I mean, you can see kind of like what's going on. Please inform the people of Rusty. Uh, yeah. You can, I mean, you can kind of see what's going on a little bit. You see these the slider on the left moving up, that represents his left arm. And what you're going to see here is, have a quick rest. That is what happens when you collect a bed power-up. <laughs> and they really should have designed this better so that your arms don't hurt like hell. I, I played this before, and uh, I played it for probably about a good 15 minutes at least. And my arms were killing me for about an hour and a half after I did it. This game is not easy on any part of your body, whether it's your mind or your arms. There's no reason you should play this game except if you want to have a lot of fun making fun of your friends for playing this game. Which is really what we're doing with James Britt here now. This is kind of a, a fun way to end the episode. We've had a lot of intense uh, Halo action going on. And, you know, that, that's been great. A lot of... Uh, James Bridge has been doing great, but now he's not doing so great because it's really not easy to do great at Totem Ball. You have to have really no life if you are going to master this game because there's, it's, there's no way. It's not <laughs> worth it. Yeah, you, you see, this is just... It's not good. I mean, maybe you can't tell because we're not using like an, an HD camera here, but the graphics suck. <laughs> the graphics are not good, which is... I wouldn't mind if the game had any rewarding qualities. I'm trying to find something that's fun about the game. I guess it's kind of fun playing pinball in the game, which uh, we'll show you right after this. We're not going to torture him playing this too much longer. But uh, pinball's not terrible compared to the rest of the game. Pinball's pretty bad, but it, it can be kind of fun. Basically, what you're doing in pinball is you're controlling the paddles with your hands. The little flippers, I should say. And that can get kind of fun, I guess. Alright, so level complete. So what we're going to do here now is going to move into some pinball and kind of show you what that's like. It's not that bad, to be honest. They give you a lot of modes with the game. I guess that's one rewarding part of the game. Now, before I go on any further, I should mention this is a free game, so I can't really rag on it too much. But at the same time... Oh, I got a cheaper lot. Totem Trainer. Yeah. All right. Shows how much I've played this game. Yeah, it shows how much I've played the game. We just started playing the game today, because he's the only one of us with a vision camera. All right, so we're going to go to pinball. Now, you have to do this stupid little setup every time. You gotta keep your hands visible in the waterfalls, and you move it down, move them up. So, I mean, you do that, you get that going on, and then you have to select your pinball machine. You can't just select it from a menu, you have to select it like this. They give you the starting level pinball village, which is really all we have access to. We've tried to access the other ones, but we haven't found them yet, apparently. We found the door just fine, but not the actual thing for some reason. So, the pinball design, not the greatest at all. 
in any shape or form. But it is kind of fun uh, hitting the uh, flippers with your hands. That's actually kind of fun. I, I mean, I don't think it's would be a terrible idea to uh, play pinball like this. But, I mean, still, it's just not well made at all. So, really, we just wanted to kind of end this off playing uh, some totem ball because uh, it's actually really funny. I enjoy it. This is a free game, like I said before. So, if you have a vision camera, at least try it out. Definitely try it out. Make someone else play it. You probably don't want to play it for more than five minutes because you're risking arm damage. You don't want to do that. Uh, and I th there you go. Bonus level complete. I, all right. I thought he. Uh, I I thought you had lost, but the mysteries of Totem Ball. Yeah, Totem Ball is quite strange. Uh, now, really, there's there's your background to Totem Ball. I mean, there's a few modes. Uh, just go over the modes real quick. Uh, main menu, there you go, and uh, play game. So you can see we've got we've got Totem Ball, one player standard Totem Ball juggling, uh, some sort of rhythm based thing for the second player as the first player plays. It's kind of boring, but you know this is Totem Ball. Uh, pinball, which you know is probably the best we've seen so far. Free play, not sure what that really does. I guess you just play Totem Ball for as long as you want. That sounds not so great. Super Challenge, which is basically time attack. So if you want to really rush through this, I guess, which is what we wanted to do. And Totem Jam. So, you know, they give you a few modes, and I think really, that's all we really had to say about Totem Ball. N not a good game at all. I really want to stress that. It's free, but it's still not a good game.